So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the upcoming or newly released 1.3 update for Skyrim Special Edition. So this update technically did come out at least partially for PC users, as well as it is going to be coming out for console users very shortly. A beta version of this update did release on December 8th, and since then I've been kind of eyeing a certain feature, trying to see where Bethesda was going to go with it, but unfortunately we can't find many details, so I just wanted to go over the update with you guys and just show you some of the changes we should be seeing. So first and foremost, it is very vague, but regardless, just general stability and performance improvements based on some of the reports coming from different people using the beta. This is actually about a 10 FPS bump, especially when outdoors and in some of the more laggy areas, which is really cool to see. Maybe they're optimizing some more of the textures that were saved improperly or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but regardless, I think that's very cool to see. And obviously stability is always a good thing to have, especially in Bethesda games. So then we have a fixed an issue for slow time effects, which whatever, better support for 144 Hertz displays. Obviously a lot of console users Users won't have the benefit of that and PC users are reporting mixed results with that I actually use and film on 144 Hertz display so I'm pretty excited for that but the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video is something they also said which was support for featured mods so there's no details beyond that point but what I basically think this is going to be is similar to the Nexus mod system so if you go on Nexus right now you're going to see a bunch of top mods basically some of the most downloaded mods of the past seven days I don't actually know what the time frame is but it's about a week this is actually an awesome system and something I really wish they had for Bethesda.net, it makes browsing the Nexus much easier because when you go on the website, you can see a bunch of mods that were only recently released and getting a ton of downloads. On Bethesda.net, the main problem I have is they don't filter out mods based on release date. You can either look at the mods that had a ton of downloads today or a bunch of mods that were kind of just having a ton of downloads overall. Unfortunately, most of the mods to come out and have a ton of downloads today, I actually saw already because, you know, some of the popular mods, the large mods that have been out for a while are the ones getting a ton of downloads. It kind of skews that system and makes it very difficult to find cool new mods that are getting a lot of downloads in the short term. So hopefully this will be a potential fix to that. What I actually think it's going to be is kind of maybe a little bit of a hybrid. I bet every week there's going to be a guy that goes on Bethesda.net and picks out a few mods that are cool or interesting and put them in this little kind of Bethesda.net curator mix. So it's going to be picked by them like kind of an editor's pick if you've seen on like different app stores and stuff like that. All around I actually think this is going to be a very good change. It's going to make cycling through some these mods much easier for both for me while making videos and you guys when actually just trying to go on the store or not the store but just bethesda.net i think right now it's very hard to navigate and it's really hard to find cool new mods that are like only recently added but still worth the download all around i think this is again a good change so that's pretty much it i just want to talk about some of the things about this update and what i thought were cool etc etc i'll probably do this on some other updates if there's some major ones in the future although i really don't think there's going to be many more updates for sky special edition regardless if you guys did watch to this point in the video comment tic tac down below as always thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed again and i hope to see you all next time later